They come from Russia and the Ukraine, Europe and South America, Asia, Canada and the U.S. Goju Ryu karate students who travel to Spokane once each year to receive personal teaching from Sensei Chinin. Sensei Chinin was born in 1941 in Kobe, Japan, into a family of karate teachers. He became enchanted by the martial art. Karate adapt me. I adapt karate, and uh, the first was I really like the movements, like exercise, breathing, punching, kicks. But I heard the karate is self-defense, but I didn't see the self-defense. More like very peaceful exercise. And later, I developed self-defense mind. In 1969, Sensei was a young adult wanting to teach in other parts of the world. His teacher, having friends in Spokane, sent him here. Sensei planned to stay for only two months. Before he had a chance to leave Spokane, Sensei had been hired by Gonzaga, Eastern, Spokane Community College, and Spokane Falls Community College to teach karate. Eventually, he opened his own school, called a dojo. In 1971, Mary Rowe became one of his students. I started when I was in my early 20s, but uh, I'm a little bit older than that now, and I can honestly say that I'm in better physical shape than I was at that time. And the thing about karate, I always think of it as being practical exercise. It's practical because it's about self-defense, but it's really something that works out your whole body. Sensei Chenin's style of karate is called goju, which are Chinese words meaning hard and gentle. Hard is a steadfast, strong mind, to try to build a strong mind. But more you train karate, you become a gentle person. Inside, strength. Outside, gentle. That's the, the philosophy of name of the style, goju. It's intended to be about self-defense, and the way Sensei teaches it, that's what it is. It is about self-defense, but it's not about aggression. And those are two very different things. Karate is not uh, violence. Karate is self-defense. Karate is a culture. Karate carries the artistic impression. But a lot of dojo teachers, they don't emphasize this wonderful part of karate. That's why the public that misunderstand of us, violence, kick and punch, that's, that's wrong. We, we are here very peaceful people. Sensei Chinin has celebrated his 40th year of teaching in Spokane. To commemorate this anniversary, he's produced a book. So I wanted to show the public karate is a wonderful, karate is a culture, that's why I wrote the book. That book hopefully carried the, my background, not only my father, grandfather, but culture, my friends, my teachers, wonderful people. And without them, uh, I won't be here. Sensei's students helped him to create the book, assisting with text, photographs, and arranging his ideas and sketches. The book is titled, 40 Years of Chamber. In karate, the word chamber means being ready to strike, to expend energy. For sensei, it also means being ready to act in the right way, to take care of oneself, surroundings, and other people. I have heard that word probably millions of times over the uh, years of my practice because sensei is always reminding us chamber, 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 uh, because it's the start of a good technique. And so uh, when Sensei first told me that he was thinking of that as a title for his book, I thought it was exactly perfect because it captures two things. One, um, a, a direction that he gives us regularly and over time. And secondly, um, it kind of underscores his attention to basics. Sensei Chinin and his students are devoted to Goju Ryu Karate. They gladly focus on proper training so they can enjoy its rewards. It gives you the sense that you can do things that are hard. And so in my personal life, especially in my professional life, when things are difficult, I know things that are hard. And those things aren't near as hard as some of the things that I've done at the dojo. 
so it gives you the confidence that if you can do those really hard things, then this is something that with the same kind of uh, commitment to it that uh, perhaps you can accomplish that too. To me, karate is like uh, mirrors. I have to polish the mirror every day. Otherwise, the mirror gets foggy. I can't see myself. That's not right. Keep the polished mirror always, always. Practice, practice. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.